Okay, so I wanted to do a short video on talking about karma. And so when people think of karma, they think of, um, well, I mean, there's the expression that karma is a bitch. And people think of karma as being something negative that happens because of um, a behavior that you have done. So for example, you've done something, um, you've wronged someone, you've done something considered bad, and then you are almost like punished. It's like the the universe, spirit, God, whatever you believe in, is punishing you for what it is that you did wrong. But that is actually not really what happens. So karma is very much real, first of all, um, but it's to do with the universal laws. So it kind of relates to um, the law of correspondence. And if you've not already seen my um, video on the 12 universal laws, then please do go and watch that one as well. But the law of correspondence is basically talking about the, um, it states that what is happening around us, what we experience in our physical realities, is a direct reflection of what is happening within us. So when it comes to karma, essentially what we're putting out there into the, into the world, into the universe, is essentially what we're getting back. So if you are, if you are in a fearful state, if you're perhaps in pain or hurting and you are projecting that out into the world and you are perhaps hurting the people um, you are you're not acting from um, a place of love then essentially those things will come back to you so if you are doing things that you know are not right you, things that you know are wronging other people um, then that will come back to you in some form and it's not because the the universe, God, spirit, or whatever you believe in is punishing you. It's a direct reflection of the energy that you're putting out there and you're giving is exactly what is coming back to you and what you're getting. Mm -hmm. So again, this works the other way. Calm can also be extremely positive. If you are coming from a place of love, if your heart is in the right place, if you are doing things to try and be of service and to help other people, and that is um, that is the energy you're putting out there the majority of the time. Um, obviously nobody is perfect but if that is the energy that you're mostly putting out there that's what you're mostly going to get back and so you will then be getting good karma coming your way so there is also such thing as karmic debts so um, if things have played out in the past in a certain way you may have to then further down the line go through something to even out that karmic um, that karmic balance essentially and this can also come into um, interactions with other people so um, again whether you believe it or not if um, past life karma can also be like prevalent in this lifetime as well so there could be somebody that you came into contact with something that happened in a past life and that karma has been imbalanced and now they come back into your life so that can be restored it can be the karmic debt can basically be um, ended so that you can you can kind of let that go and you don't have to keep reliving those same patterns in the future in this lifetime or in future lives so karma is very very real and um yeah basically what you're putting out there is what you get back and that's just because it's one of the universal laws it's the way that that it works it's not a case of being punished or being rewarded it's a case of of getting back what you put out there so I hope that that has um, been insightful and maybe clarified a bit about what karma really is. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or if you'd like to know more about this. And I look forward to seeing you in my future videos. Thanks for watching.